the chapter in which Abram and Lot are so wealthy from their adventures in Egypt that they decide to go their separate ways. And Abram's imaginary God starts giving away other people's stuff. Stick around. Don't let shifty inbred prophets take your stuff in the name of their imaginary gods. Protect yourself by hitting that subscribe button and then that little notification bell. Stay safe, my friends. Now, on with the show. So not a lot really happens in chapter 13. As we learned in chapter 12, Abraham pimped out his incestuous sister wife to the Pharaoh of Egypt, and the book specifically states that he gained great wealth in the form of sheep, cattle, camels, and human slaves for doing so. It's hard to tell how much crotch coin came from renting out his sister wife's hoo-ha, but it must have been significant. In fact, he and Lot could travel just fine getting to Egypt, but they had both grown so wealthy that when they left Egypt, they were having trouble managing all their possessions. They traveled together for the bit, then they had to go their separate ways. Genesis 13 verses 5 through 7. Now Lot, who was moving about with Abram, also had flocks of herds and tents, but the land could not support them while they stayed together, for their possessions were so great that they were not able to stay together. And quarreling arose between Abram's herders and Lot's. So they've grown so wealthy that they are having a hard time sharing the land. Understandably, it's at this point that Abram comes up with a perfectly sensible notion of going their separate ways. Genesis 13 verses 8 and 9. So Abram said to Lot, Let's not have any quarreling between you and me, or between your herders and mine, for we are close relatives. Is not the whole land before you? Let's part company. If you go to the left, I'll go to the right. If you go to the right, I'll go to the left. I think it's pretty cool of Abram. He realizes the land can't handle them both and gives Lot his choice. No harm, no foul. Choose where you'd like to go and I'll gladly go somewhere else. To that end, Genesis 13 verses 10 through 13. Lot looked around and saw that the whole plain of the Jordan towards Zor was well watered, like a garden of the Lord, like the land of Egypt. This was before the Lord destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. So Lot chose for himself the whole plain of the Jordan and set out toward the east. East. The two men parted company. Abram lived in the land of Canaan, while Lot lived among the cities of the plain and pitched his tents near Sodom. Now the people of Sodom were wicked and were sinning greatly against the Lord. For the record, I'd like to point out that the inhabitants of Sodom and Gomorrah are also Canaanites, still vilifying the descendants of Ham. So at this point, Abram is giving away land he doesn't own to his nephew Lot. Then, just to keep things interesting, Abram's God does the same thing. It waits until Lot leaves, then it gives everything, including the land just given to Lot by Abram, to Abram. It's all his. His delusional God just hefted him the land of dozens of other tribes and peoples, and we know how land wars turn out. Genesis chapter 13 verse 14. The Lord said to Abram after Lot had parted from him, look around from where you are to the north and south, to the east and west. All the land that you see, I will give to you and your offsprings forever. I will make your offspring like the dust of the earth so that if anyone could count the dust, then your offspring could be counted. Go walk through the length and breadth of the land for I am giving it to you. A recurring theme of taking land already owned and populated by someone else because a voice in your head told you to do so, no matter how many people suffer and die. Exactly what you'd expect from the evil god monster of Abraham and his book of death. Remember, don't let the imaginary gods of dead prophets give away your crap by hitting that subscribe button, that little notification bell. If you like what I do and want to support my cause, follow the links in the description below to my Patreon and find a tier that works for you. Take care, my friends. Thank you.